Hi everyone, today I want to share with you the Vicky Putin art crayons and I have three sets now so I'm quite excited to swatch them out. I'm going to use my cutty papers swatch sketchbook. I will leave the links below in case you're interested. Um, I only keep swatches in this book so I will try to um, put all of the swatches on this page because they um, are a little bit smudgeable once they dry they smudge less but still they do transfer a little bit i find um, especially if you haven't used water to completely dissolve the pigment then it tends to transfer to the other side of the page and if you rub on it as well you'll see a little transferal um, and because i want to see them as uh, when they are dry as well as when they're used with water i will have both of them um on this page and that way if i keep this page clean then they can transfer and not get anything dirty i have no idea why the packaging is so different um and what the idea behind it is but even on amazon they sell them as set one set two and set three so basically there is no name to them and um the only way that I heard of them being referred to as the warm, the cool and the neutral set is actually by Vicky Butin when she did um, demos with these crayons. So they are water soluble art crayons and you get eight colors in every set. So I'm going to swatch them out as dry like I said and then later on I'm going to go in with um, a brush and water and try to dissolve the pigment a little bit just to have that variation. So I will put you in fast forward for this upcoming process and then I guess we'll do the, the water bit probably together. So when you work with these pastels, um, you will notice that they're quite smooth and soft and so they will kind of give these little um, pieces of, of pigment and you will need to dissolve them more but it also can be quite messy because you'll, you will end up with little pieces everywhere else. So you need to be quite careful if you like to work clean then you know that's something to keep in mind also your hands you will get the oil pastels even from holding them you'll get them on your skin so keep a wet wipe uh, nearby and you can tackle it that way on the packaging that is uh, for the cool set it actually shows on the side um, what you can do with it so you can use it with a sponge you can use it on stamps and you can mix colors, you can stamp like that. So you can do a variety of things. And I actually got them uh, to be used with uh, with the Wikibutin flower stamps. So I will go ahead and do that in a minute. But for now, I just want to um, somehow get rid of these pieces. So I'll use a dry brush just to dust them off and I'll come back. So I dusted off as much as I could because um, they can pull the pigment obviously and then it all can become quite messy very quickly. So 
I just am going to prepare a little bit of water just here and have a dry napkin. I'm also using Vicky Putin's um, brush here. So I'm just going to go ahead and pull out some of this pigment and see what it looks like when you work with it because I want to see the full intensity as well as um, the watered out bit. So I'm going to pick up these bits because I really don't want them smudging on the other side and creating mess. Okay, so I have finished with the swatches and they're a little bit still um, wet, so they're not fully dried, but you can see it has that typical kind of um, crayon quality to it where they dry slightly matte, but they are pretty colors. And I'm just going to give you a little close up so you can see the pigment dissolves really well um, with water. And then this is the, the water from mixing, so you can see it's a little bit milky, so it definitely has that um, opacity kind of uh, milkiness to it. And so these are the swatches, and I have to say that from the neutrals, I really love this color, this one. The gray is really interesting. Black is super, super black. It's not translucent at all. It's very intense. And the white comes out a little bit more gray than it actually is just because I go into it after the black. It happened twice to me now. So what else? And then from the blue sets, uh, from the cool set, I really like this color and uh, this one. They're really, really pretty. And from the warm set, I probably love all of them just because I love pinks, yellows and oranges and all of that. So that is the color uh, scheme of these crayons. And now I want to go ahead and just do a little quick demo for you with the Wikibutin stamps. Okay, so I have gone ahead and quickly done an illustration with a waterproof ink. Uh, this is the platinum carbon ink. I will link it below as well. So it will not smudge when comes when it will come in, in contact with water. So here I have the flowers and I will use these flowers for my girl illustrations, which I really love um, using flower stamps or anything flower related, even die cuts to create um, embellishments. Like you could do even ephemeras, you know, you could stick something like that and you're good to go. Currently anything flower related I'm on the look for and if they're really really lovely then I can um, start collecting them and basically use them in layout. So here is the set. It, it, it comes basically looking like this in this sleeve that you can put in a folder and it's got a plastic zipper here. Uh, there is the magnetic sheet here which the die cuts adhere to or at, at, um, are placed on and they they're not going to be wobbling around in the packaging so you've got three 
uh, flowers that you can cut out and this is the stamp set so the flowers you can cut out are these I'm not going to cut out anything today I just want to show you how I would use these flowers and stamp some sort of a of a crown or embellishment this flower seems to be a little bit too big for this size so I'm going to go for the smaller one and this one looks very pretty so I'm going to attempt what Vicky Putin has demonstrated in her uh, demos and it looked like once you get the right proportion of of the water and pigment then you're good to go so I'm going to see first of all where I want this crown to be I'll probably do three flowers I'm thinking so I'll do one slightly off center okay so looking at the swatches I think I'm going to mix this yellow with this pink and then maybe also bring in a little bit of the orange so these three colors basically so now let's see let's do the guesswork because none of them are titled so I assume that was that pink and the orange next to it I'm going to get my craft mat out because I would highly recommend working on a craft mat with the crayons because the pigment will go everywhere. Okay, let's see. So we do have basically this pink, this orange and this yellow. And those are the colors that I'm going to work with. So the way Vicky Putin has demonstrated it is you can do it in different um, different ways. You can scribble your um, crayons onto um, like a palette or some sort of surface like this and then wet them with the water, stamp in and stamp into there which is going to create more of a wet effect. What you can also do is um, wet the actual crayon and then scribble on top. So I'm going to try both techniques and see which one I like better. So I'm going to start with scribbling a bit of yellow and a bit of pink just like this something that looks like a flower and then I'm going to mix these on here and add a little bit more of the pink like that and see what happens so we don't want too much water because otherwise the image won't transfer as nicely so I'm going to go ahead and stamp it so that's actually a very neat stamp it is much better than I thought. I hope you can see it. There we go. So it's quite detailed, which is really good. Really surprised how clean the lines have stamped. Okay, so it's a little bit kind of like watered out. So I'm going to basically bring in, let me just wipe this quickly off so I don't create more mess. And I'm going to bring in my jar of water and I'm going to put the crayon straight into the water but just a little bit, just the corner of it. They dissolve really quickly and I'm going to scribble on top like that. And then I'm going to go with the orange and go around it. You really don't need that much pressure. These crayons are really lovely and soft. So let's see whether that will give us more color. I'm also going to bring in a little bit of that pink just in a little corner here. And that probably 
will be quite a bit more saturated I would assume so I'm going to go in and stamp yes so that has more color so if you prefer more color you can just go in straight and do it that way so I'm going to go ahead and do the third flower and this time I'm going to add a bit more pink just like that I'm not even bothering to clean in between because these colors look lovely all together they're just a bit more pink around the corners and a bit more yellow into the center like that and then I'm going to stamp it I don't mind that the images are overlaying so here you got a bit more of a watered uh, watercolor effect because I used a bit more water so depending what you like you can go from a very um, kind of just really detailed and very pale look you can go for more pigment and you can go for more water and pigment so depending on what kind of style you are looking to do so I think the next thing I want to do just real quick is to finish off with some greenery and I quite like this leaf stamp to do it with and to clean them off all you do is just take a wet wipe give it a nice clean if you see pigment still stuck in there our good old friend is your Tim Holtz distress sprayer and then either a wet wipe or a dry tissue I tend to like to use the dry tissues more because the wet wipes they kind of have these um, fibers in there so that becomes a little bit annoying to clean off and obviously a dry tissue will remove all the pigment and the wetness and it's all perfectly clean so that's all good so you can see it's not staining anything the the pigment and then I'm going to put that one back for a minute and then go in and create some green color so let's see I think I'm going to mix two colors that I really like so one of them is this color from the green set so it looks like kind of like turquoisey green and the other color was this one the olive green so that color here which I really really like by the way have you as you might have noticed um, I have already that they were new when they came out of the box for swatching and the reason is because um, I already kind of tried to swatch them and the paper I did the swatches on didn't really like um, the art crayons and that paper is quite demanding <laughs> it's not easy to work with at all so that is why some of the sets looked a little bit used already so I'm mixing straight on here don't need to do anything else just putting the tip of the crayon into the water and that is it and before it dries out all you're going to do is just um, actually going to use a little tissue to cover up here so that it doesn't stamp on there so I'm just going to do something like this and there you go there is your lovely leaf stamp and you can continue stamping without needing to re-wet it in, in a sense so I'm just going to do this leaf here it's going to be a little bit drier but you still get the pigment there so if you like that kind of look of different uh, pigment intensities you can totally do that and I'm also going to um, do a little bit more of this green
So when you are doing this, just hover over the standing out stamp edges so you don't go inside because inside it will be harder to clean. So now I'm going to do the same thing and just cover up a little bit of the imagery and stamp it. And that's it. So I quite like this look. I probably would add something green just here at the bottom. Just this one leaf, I guess, would be enough. And let's see. Mm, a bit of this as well. You will feel when it's a bit dry, it starts to drag on the stamp. So then quickly just revet it again and that's it. Okay, so I'll leave it at that. And that is my stamping done. I'm going to dry it and just finish off a little bit and then come back and we'll catch Here's up. Here's one more thing I actually wanted to show you what you can do. You can use them um, straight from the um, crayon with the brush. Make sure there is not too much water if you don't want it to be too watered out. If you want more color and more pigment and just work straight like that. Don't go in with the crayon onto the paper because it will stain the paper and it's likely that you won't be able to move that crayon from the paper. But if you put it on the brush and then from the brush, go ahead and use it like you would do with watercolor, then that's completely different. So I then can go ahead and remove a little bit of it if I think it's too colored so you do have that time and space to do it in and for the lips there's this lovely red color that I want to use so I'm going to go into this red and get as much pigment as I can like that Sometimes it can take a little bit of time to do that. To build it up. So maybe I'll just go in onto the wet paper rather than on the dry. And then from here, I'm going to pull out the pigment of the crayon and make sure that all of it is dissolved and I'm going to have a nice gradient like that. So that's another way you could do. So don't go into the dry paper, go into the wet paper and then quickly with the brush remove it a little bit. So that's a cute little way to be using these crayons and the stamps as well and if you're not great at drawing but you like to do something like that it just um, makes it a lot easier and it looks quite pretty so yes thanks for watching and see you soon